What is your favorite Amy Winehouse song and why? My favorite well, Amy Winehouse song is Back to Black. I know the man, Max is different, but I really, I, I just think Back to Black is an incredible song. Tears dry on their own, just because Sam sent me that, sent me the uh, the clip of her singing that as soon as we had the first chat. And so it's just, it's burned into my brain. My favorite Amy Winehouse song is Don't Go to Strangers. She recorded it live with Paul Weller and it's absolutely beautiful. I want people to hear my voice. What was the most difficult thing for you as producer in the making of this film? And how do you feel about it now, days before the premiere? Um, it, in many ways, it was not a difficult film to make because we were very clear in our intention from the start. And that, 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 that intention, which was to make a film from Amy's point of view and to celebrate her life, and uh, her, her life, her talent, and the lightness in her life, rather than going towards the darkness and the tragedy, that informed our whole our, our whole trajectory. So, so that makes it a lot easier making a film if you're not constantly trying to adjust the decisions. We were very clear in our direction. Awesome. I would say the, the 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 difficult thing was, you know, it was not an inexpensive film to make but we didn't want to make any compromises. So we wanted to cast who we wanted to cast and we wanted to shoot where we wanted to shoot and take the time where we needed to take the time. So, so to keep the, the budget number up whilst making all the decisions that we wanted was hard, but we had a wonderful partner in Studio Canal who were, who were super supportive in doing that and focus in America. So Eddie, uh, tell me, uh, which were the things that interested you the most about playing Amy Winehouse father? Well, I was a big fan of Amy Winehouse. I love her music. Um, I've always wanted to work with Sam, the director. Yeah. And um, I'm a father of four teenage children. So the idea of playing the uh, Mitch Winehouse, who was just, just a father, I thought was fascinating. Me. Which are the things from Amy Winehouse's story that you would have liked to remain in the film, but due time or artistic decisions, did you have to leave out? I, I personally would have liked to have gone more into her friends because, you know, her friends, as she, she has some really interesting, vibrant, you know, girlfriends and boyfriends uh, like Tyler. And But I just didn't have time. So it, it, it's always it's time management. It's pacing of the script always on things like this because you want decent resolutions for the characters that you that you do write. So unfortunately... You know, some people just just don't make the movie scripts. If I could do an eight part series, then you know they they probably would get in there. But that wasn't what we were doing. the The film talks about some parts of the story of a music star, and it's also a very human film that portrays many mental health issues. Do you think it could be a good way for new generations to understand and empathize with these types of situations? Definitely. I, I I want the film to, I hope the film would do two things. I hope it will make people appreciate how brilliant Amy was and how lucky we were to have her in our lives because yeah. she's like part of the family. We all play our music when we're taking the kids to school or we're cooking lunch or whatever. But the other thing is I, I hope people come away with a greater understanding and sympathy for those who suffer from addiction and for their families as well. What is your favorite Amy Winehouse song and why? My favorite well, Amy Winehouse song is Back to Black. I know the man, Max is different, but I really, I, I just think Back to Black is an incredible song. I know that she wrote it really, really quickly. And when she was in the throes of, of, of her despair after her first breakup with Blake. And, you know, I've been through breakups in my life and, and periods of grief and, and that, that song really really speaks to me. I think it's 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 hard to find another song that that expresses that 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 feeling of, of so so boldly and boldly. Tears, tears dry on their own just because Sam sent me that sent me the uh, the clip of her singing that as soon as we had the first chat and so it's just it's burned into my brain and but I just love the strength of that song. My favorite Amy Winehouse song is Don't Go to Strangers. She recorded it live with Paul Weller. And it's absolutely beautiful. Black.